Uh, even the, you know, and Mark Addy's character even goes that route too. But mm -hmm. I don't want to give everything away. I leave that to Lana. <laughs> <laughs> And we're back. And, and we're back. So, um, Lost I, I King forgot is... to tell you that that when you we we post the um, the actual trailer to this movie in the comment not comment section but you know the description section. I, when I'm watching it on YouTube, I've I never see anything where it's telling us that. You're saying like, look, look down at the bottom of the screen, but it doesn't show. No, anything. no, no, not at the bottom of the screen. It's in the description. In the so you have to click down and see the description. Okay. And then Folks, you'll see the listening. links. <laughs> okay. So now is um, Lon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. My movie was The Lost King. Uh, written or excuse me directed by Stephen Frears and I think written by Stephen Frears and someone else jeez I'm, I'm was I'm it Steve Coogan? Did Steve Coogan Steve Coogan thank, yeah, you. Yeah. thank you thank you based on the novel by uh oh I thought it was Bolivia. a true I thought it was a true story yeah oh I'm sorry not the novel the yeah. book written yeah. by Bolivia oh, Langley, Langley and Langley. Mike Philippa yeah Philippa. this is a book yeah, yeah. yes oh, cool the lady uh, who Philippa wrote it. Oh, right. What uh, she co-wrote it. Gosh, that's I think. A uh, Michael Jones. They're the ones who wrote the book about this experience. Because <laughs> what this movie is about is a woman, for some reason, gets inspired and becomes obsessed with Richard the Third. So what she does, she does her research, and then she joins some clubs. She meets other people. She she does a really thorough research, and then she believes that. She thinks she found Richard III's body, or she thinks she knows where it's buried, should we say, because it, no one has known where the his body has been, what, 500 years, I think, <laughs> after he died or something. So yes. I thought it was fascinating because I remember hearing the news about this. This was the weird part that Ooh. that's what everyone said. Uh, yeah. It, wow. it made international news because everyone said, oh, they found, this is what I remember. Sure. We found oh, Richard, cool. they possible, they possibly found Richard III's remains in a car park. <laughs> that was like how I always heard it. So to actually see the story of all was sort of interesting in this movie for me personally, because um, here's this woman, she's sort of sickly. She has something called ME, which uh, when I looked it up, I didn't know what ME was, but it's, it's sort of chronic front, chronic fatigue yeah. syndrome is what it basically is. Well, yeah. So she's so always tired. ME, chronic fatigue, yeah. You know? No, but that's what it is. It's like- Oh, a, no, no, like, ME is the scientific name yeah. uh, if you look it up. So I, I thought, okay, and then you could tell her life, she, she's divorced, but her husband still lives with them basically because of financial reasons. Right. Uh, they have two sons. And, you know, she's just going along her life. But like I said, she gets obsessed with Richard III. In the movie, for example, uh, she goes to see a, a stage play of Shakespeare's Richard III. And I don't know if that sort it's of. How, how he describes himself. In the play, I think oh, she kind of like connects that? with him when he's doing his soliloquy. Right, mm -hmm. he's looking. Well, as I don't know that, <laughs> was, but he's looking at in their direction, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden she just connects. Right. Well, she him. does, and what I like too is that she actually went with her husband and her child, her she children. Was for so her it was a family thing. It was for her child. Mm -hmm. It was for her right. child. I don't think it, she went with her husband. No, oh, she was her kid. Oh, with her son. That's son. right. That's right. Son. Her oldest son. Because even at one point, she has a little. Uh, exchange with one of the other kids, right. <laughs> which I thought was sort of humorous. But as we go along, mm -hmm. she gets obsessed. She decides, okay, I haven't been to work in a couple of weeks because of her illness in a way. Right. But in a way, I think it's because she was, became obsessed with this. So she decides, okay, I'm going to take even more time off. I'm going to do research. And this is what the movie means to me. Here is one woman, not a major academic to our knowledge at any at point um does just the plain thing of going to the library getting 12 books and doing old-fashioned research yeah learning the subject learning this learning that and then she comes up with her theory now the thing with the theory oddly enough when i looked up at more when people talked about that is they said oh yeah like in the 70s it was theorized that he's probably buried in some open space and most likely a car park. 
Yeah, they said that like in a joke, like yeah, yeah. like a car. No, no, in in the seventies they talked oh, seriously oh, really? oh, when really? they were talking oh. about where Richard might be buried. Right. But apparently, no one sort of went on and did anything, right? So she finally decides to do it, and then it's in that as she's getting to know Richard the Third, or so she thinks she knows Richard the Third, doing all the research and absorbing all the history, basically that he sort of appears to her <laughs> in the guise of the actor who played <laughs> I love that part. <laughs> on stage. So, you know, she just feels inspired now. Now, one thing I did like about her character is that she does talk about just having a feeling. Now, this is the part that it gets sort of unhinged when, especially when you have to deal with, uh, government or academia or exactly yeah, professional you need evidence you we do not go on feelings so the thing is she just has this feeling and she even mentions it i guess is that she said once she gets to a place where she thought she was she gets the shivers or something uh the real philidia langley or i'm sorry philippa I keep saying Philidia. Sorry, <laughs> I think I, I think of Emma Thompson's or mother. Yeah. <laughs> so, Law, <laughs> Philidia Law. <laughs> oh, that's right, yeah. So, um, as it goes along, she's got to deal with all these different things because one, all these different characters she comes across is what I enjoyed about the film. Uh, first, she joins this sort of Richard the Third Society in Edinburgh in Scotland. And they all have their own theories about, and a lot of them were saying, no, Richard isn't the monster that Shakespeare, you know, painted him out to be in his play. She puts it together. Well, that's the thing. She says, oh yeah, what well, that happens. Maybe, because she was right when she says Shakespeare, you know, that's a hun over a hundred years. Just later. You know? Mm -hmm. So how he doesn't know him personally, he's just writing history the way he knows it. And right. also the tutors yeah. had every reason to make him to bad. make him exactly. bad because they exactly. were usurping his. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that's why he was yeah. basically he was portrayed as a usurper. Yeah. And that they actually talk about that in the movie. And then it's between that. What I but wait, he wasn't a usurper. He was the rightful heir to the yes. throne. They were the usurpers, mm -hmm. the well, suitors. Well, they called him no. the usurper. Yeah, yes. but, they, but they were no. the actual usurpers. Well, he that's was, I'm saying. That's, that's that's why it's sort of quasi because don't forget that he was the one who killed, supposedly killed the two yeah. children, right? Yeah. Who were the actual heirs? But again, no, he was the heir. No, he wasn't. No. Well, this is a, this is a, this. We're going back into a debate that yeah. they all were having because yes, the children really were answered. the heirs of the actual king, but I, he killed the children, so he became the heir. But you never really That's know the story yeah. or not. Well, yeah. yeah. Sorry, Lon. Go ahead. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Well, no, no. Uh, and so what happens is that she then has to seek professional help as well. She knows she needs somebody who's an archaeologist or an anthropologist somehow to try and figure out where he's buried how we get to it, this and that. So uh, again, she goes to uh, this, she, she, for some reason, it's in the city of Leicester or Leicestershire, I guess it's Leicestershire. <laughs> she has to go to the city council, get approvals, get this and that. And again, it's her doing this all, all on By her herself. own. Exactly. And uh her husband sort of knows. He says, look, you know, we sort of made this agreement. That's why I'm living with you because financially we can be okay as long as the two of us are both working. You're not working. Even the children notice, you know, this is like the second time mom hasn't made us dinner. You know, <laughs> all these things that a woman in her position has to do and keep up. And yet she sort of almost keeps it a secret from the family at one point. But then she has to go and. That's when I think when the movie really takes off because ultimately what I like, besides just being old fashioned, doing research, she's also sickly. Yeah. She's sort of underconfident okay. and timid. And yet she's constantly being confronted to challenge people's opinions. And, and herself. That, you're exactly. And that's where it gets to the point where finally she gets that once she they once she gets everything going on the dig. Her ex husband is amazing. No, <laughs> I would love an ex husband like that. <laughs> I know, yeah, that's yeah. Steve Coogan. Uh, in fact, oh yeah, uh, there are a lot nice. of great performances. Yeah, I think in it. Mark Addy's also in it, mm -hmm. playing the. Um, what, what, was he? He was an archaeologist. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Was yeah. Archaeologist. I, I, I was trying to remember. It was he was the only archaeologist that 
thought she might have a point, but it, no. basically he was doing it for the money. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. See, he gets like, oh, I need funding now. I need this. Because he lost the funding from Lacer. Right. So they go outside the university. The university. Right. Right. Well, what I mean, she, he would give mm -hmm. her the time of day. Mm -hmm. Because she mm -hmm. had None the money. That, right. Right. But only because she had the money. <laughs> yeah. But uh, mm -hmm. then uh, what is interesting, though, is what follows. Because according to uh, Philippa's uh, version, she then runs, uh, she does have some controversy, which is still ongoing with the <coughs> University of Leicester, oh, yeah. whom Horrible. this uh, architect worked for, right. or I'm sorry, archaeologists <laughs> worked for. Uh, so that was sort of interesting. And that adds actually sort of interesting drama to it as well, in my opinion. But, you know, for the most part, I just thought this is a neat little story. It's telling a true story. You are getting from their perspective. Stephen Frears, I always thought was such a great write, uh, director of just drama. Just it doesn't, it's not great drama by any means, but he does biographical stuff, I think, very well. And I like the fact that he added sort of, again, I don't know if it was her because I haven't read her book, the visualization of the king and her interactions with King that. Richard the Third. That, that made it. No, exactly. I agree. Yeah. That adds a nice little dimension to it because you feel so much for it. And of course, I think uh, it has a very satisfactory ending. And I don't think this is a great movie by any means, but I just thought here's just a good solid drama. I thought it was entertaining enough. And it tells, again, a real story that I thought this is uh, inspirational. This is what Maestro totally should have been, <laughs> in my opinion, right? Show somebody from their beginnings and what they can inspire. One person. And yeah, yeah. one person. And how it affects, and in this case, it affected an entire nation, if not the world, for some people. She made a major yeah. change. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, George. Yeah, I really love this movie too. The I like the I like the concept that she talks to the the king. <laughs> like he, like he pops up, <laughs> and then uh, and as uh, she's you know she's frustrated, so she's kind of he's, he's almost like a psychologist or psychiatrist because he's you not know, telling him what's going on and everything, but he's kind of just listens. <laughs> the they also thought, I think, that, that he might have been thrown in the river, too. You know, that was right. kind of a theory. Yeah. So they go, mm -hmm. oh, he's lost forever. So, But she really felt that the... And actually, when I seen uh, the uh, actual person being interviewed, she said that she did feel like there was a feeling when she was there, like she was almost like uh, physically felt it, like, oh, well, he, this is where it is. The... I was going to say, I guess you do have to do your own research. <laughs> <laughs> no, she really had a passion for it. Like you can tell her, she was so passionate about it. That, like, why right, she was working, ignoring the kids or they were not cooking for them or everything. She was so really like uh, passionate for, about the, the project. The, I like, the, the has, is the movie has a lot of very emotional scenes. Like also, you know, you get, bring your hankies. I said, bring your hankies. Yeah. The, I like the scene where she's, you know, they lose funding. So she goes uh, aligned to to because the group that she no crowd source yeah crowd sourcing <laughs> and, she, and she also there's she, there's this magazine about the uh, what are they what are they called the they call the uh, the the is it uh, the rich the rich the Ricardian or something like that's a magazine called the Ricardian Ooh. I think oh right right, right. yeah and then, and, but it, it's it might be based there but this it's worldwide you know, like and then she does a, a crowd source and they sign they they get donations from. The U.S., Canada, Australia, exactly. Australia, Australia, everywhere, mm -hmm. worldwide. Worldwide, so that's you know, it was very like it has, it has scenes like that where you're like, "Ooh, where's my hanky again?" <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> the the uh, if I could read this, oh, you know, I like too that if, if you notice the, I would say it's not a spoiler because the, we know what happened in Australia, but when they they find the remains, I think they're doing the, the scene, the burial thing, oh no, the ceremonial thing, where they they, With they, the they coat actually, of arms, yeah, and they also oh. And also another thing that I really like too, he always pops up, you know, when she sees him, he's always kind of walking around and stands, uh, standing right. around, walking around with her. When the, the the one scene where they actually find, she's not there when they see the, when she keeps telling this, no, they find some bones and they go, no, keep us giving that, keep us giving that. No, no, it's, we got to go over there. No, no, just, I go, I'm, <laughs> I'm funding this thing. You do what I say and they get all pissed out. Right. <laughs> so, okay, it was And then, then you see them now like, <laughs> at that moment, there she's somewhere else because she needs to you know blow steam so she walks somewhere else and then she sees uh richard on a white horse mm. 
And to me, that represents you found me. Right. Because right. yeah. no yeah. one he's standing or he's just standing. But he shows time, up when when she needs but he's, him. But he's always standing. This is the one time right. he's actually on a white horse, and I go. Exactly. Oh. And he's got other uh, his yeah. other well, no, soldiers no, with this, him. No, no, that's no, that's, 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 a, that's a different one. scene. That's a different oh, scene. Oh, oh, this okay. is when she's in like in a store. Yeah. He's, is it, the difference is the, the the fact that he's on a horse on white and pops up that way is telling her, you found me. Like that's what yeah. that's what we're saying. So, and it's very very emotional. So the, uh, the oh. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. And then uh, when, when the, the scene where they're doing the whole ceremonial thing, they actually showing you actual footage from when that happened with the news media. You know, all those guys. Right. But you know, if the you know, Richard III's remains were found, and they do this procession through through London or whatever, Oxford, right. or the and and, and but that they, was a big deal. And they're showing you the actual footage, the scene where they're carrying inside the church and they are carrying the, the thing. If you notice, there's a blonde lady looking in. They they they, they focus on her. That's a real Philippa. Yes, exactly. Yes. That was a real Philippa. Like, they have oh, great. a full face on the yes, screen. Yes, yes. Like <laughs> phenomena. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I really, really enjoy this movie. Um, yeah, uh, it's interesting. You know, one of the things I, that impressed me about this is they made this point. She was not the first person to ever have this idea. She didn't come up with this whole thing and then say, hey, I'm going to sell it. There were thousands of people who believed this, and they had societies but nobody had ever gotten anything done. Now, I first heard this whole thesis, I think it was like maybe in the 60s or 70s, there was a book by a, a, a British mystery writer named uh, Josephine Tay, T-E-Y. It was called, I think it was called The Daughter of Time, although that makes no sense why it would be The Daughter of Time. But it was about a detective who is injured and she, and she starts reading about Richard III and in her room, in her, as she's healing, she, she just goes through, follows all the facts and puts everything in order and says, he didn't do it. He, Richard III was bad mouth. He's innocent. And I mean, the, the book I, m must have inspired a lot of these people. She's not mentioned mm -hmm. anywhere in this. But you do see when she finally goes to the, uh, early on when she goes to this meeting of them, that they've got an auditorium. There's like all these people and they're all scholars, but they all are, you know, like, they're all really into like, well, we know, but nobody believes us. So what are we going to do? So it's like what what makes it really stronger is here's this woman who's got no investment in it, other than if anything, maybe she has a crush on the actor who played the who played the lead in when she saw the play, <laughs> or and and so it might have been the production or something that they were dealing directly with the audience because it didn't seem to be like it wasn't like Royal Shakespeare Company or something like that. It was like something that was a much smaller production, but. Sally, Sally Hawkins, anybody else doing this part? I can't imagine anybody no, else doing this part. She's so good. She brings so much to it. Steve Coogan, uh, he's, they're living together in the beginning, but he's got a girlfriend. Yes, and, he's, yeah. and he has a condo, a different yeah, yeah, condo. Yeah, and, and so he moves, he moves, he leaves his girlfriend and moves back in with his wife because he's expenses. supporting his wife. Because to help her do to help, yeah, because she's he's a, a great ex husband, the best. Yeah, <laughs> he's, yeah, he should and all have an ex husband. Like him. Yeah. Yeah. to be yeah. her not ex husband. <laughs> and, and, and eventually, and eventually, in, in being around her and paying attention to her, he's going, "My God, I think she's right." Yeah, you know, and, that, and that's her. the whole thing is that if you if you pay attention to a nut, they may not be a nut. They might, absolutely, yes. and and that's what this, this is like. Somebody who goes into this and because she has no background to it. Nothing. She's considered a nut by people. You know, she's uh, she's sickly. She does. She has a bad time at work. She gets overlooked for jobs that she should be getting that other people get because she's got this condition. And uh, and like that setup to me is part was part of why it was like such a strong experience to me. I mean, I really teared up in this movie when they got wow. when they got to that point of uncovering the the uh, the, the 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 remains. I mean, you know, when they go in there. And uh, and she's like this scene that was mentioned before, and then and they're saying, we figured out that it's got to be over here because of A, B, and C. And she goes, no, it's right here, and I know it. Under where the R is for reserved. Yeah, I, I, I love that. The R that was, was, like, it was like yeah. they knew it was they put it there for Richard. For Richard. for him. And then she's there to for Richard. It's probably reserved for somebody. She goes, oh. Uh, <laughs> But it was symbolic. I loved it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it was just and and the whole the whole journey. It was really a a, a quest. A quest. And as a, That's and a, as a quest, word. it was like it was mm -hmm. just a, such a satisfying thing, and to to have the like such an appealing actor play that part. 
You just, you know, you just want her to to be right. You yes, want her to yes. be rewarded, and then she's kind of not rewarded. It's like all of a sudden, as soon oh, as they find so it, she, she gets, gets screwed, so screwed over because everybody now that they found it, they said, "Well, yeah, you know, we financed this. We were behind <laughs> this, and she wouldn't have done anything." That's when the vultures and suits come in. And even the, you know, and Mark Addy's character even goes that route too, but. Mm -hmm. I don't want to give everything away. I leave that to Lana. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, okay, so what, what do you that, think? That's but, it's, but, it's but it's just, I, I mean, I, I, th this is my favorite of the movies we're reviewing. Uh, now, mind you, I haven't seen Killers of the Flower oh, Moon, which you're going to be reviewing next. But of oh, the ones that, that I saw, I, 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 oh, I, 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 somebody gave me a DVD and it wouldn't play. Oh. I think it's because they stuck a three and a half hour movie on a single DVD. <laughs> <laughs> No <laughs> machine can handle it. Well, then on to Susie. <laughs> so, on to, so anyway, yes, I highly recommend this movie. I loved it. It's it's a, it's a beautiful film. It's a kind of low key British movie that yeah, I, that really gets to me every it. time. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I was gonna say one thing. Real quick, real quick. Unfortunately, I, I think this movie should be definitely be considered for awards left and right. But I'm afraid it's gonna go that route of. Uh, well, this was from last uh, two years ago, 2022. Oh, then, uh, then yeah. never mind. Yeah. Is it 2022? No, was it? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 2022. Yeah. 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 2022 was, is still last year. Did she do well in the Did she do well in the I don't know. Did she do well in the I don't know. Maybe. I will hope so. I have to look it up then. Then disregard my thing. Next. But it's not—it's okay. not—it's not an award baiting movie. It's, no. yeah. Oh, I don't—I disagree. I no, I mean, I, I think it's worthy of awards, but it's not yeah. the kind of movie so that the, the organization gives awards yeah, to. What's which is, his name was trying to do with my? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if he throwing gets one damn everything. award for that, I swear to God, I'll throw it off. He was called movie. the last maestro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the so last what did you maestro. think? The last maestro. Okay. I—I I just thought it was a. Here's a funny story. We actually. I watch this kind of stuff like, um, I don't know if you know who James Tabor is. He does a lot of uh, religious archaeology. I watch that for fun. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I just watch it for fun. It's like, so the first time I watched this was not before we had decided About a year to do ago, that. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And I. Oh, she and didn't I, like it. You didn't like it. I did like not it. like it. I was like. You said uh, you made it like halfway through or something. I made right? it halfway yeah. through. I and I was like, this long. is so stupid. <laughs> right. <laughs> when I watched it this time. I was like, what the hell was I thinking? Here? <laughs> Sometimes it's your mood. It's I, your I, mood. Don't, yeah, I don't absolutely. know. It, it was just, I don't, I don't think she had a crush on the guy. No, me either. I think she was inspired. Something about Richard III, because that's the whole concept, talks through this actor. And she even says it's the way he talked about himself. You wouldn't talk about yourself that way. Yeah, and yeah. he. she also went, I think basically... This is what led her on a thing is he got a bad rap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This 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 is not the, I don't feel like he was this really bad person. They were like, well, Shakespeare knew him better than you. He lived by there. And she was like, that was a hundred years, years after yeah. he died. It's, it's like 150 know. years later. And the tutors. And the yeah. tutors and was the, later. And the yeah. tutors have been. every reason. Trust the royal. To, so they were like, yeah, really. Well, you know, it's like like well, if anything. it's Megan and what's yeah, her face? Tutors you know? some yeah. tutors. You know? <laughs> so I I just thought that um, I I just can't even recommend this movie enough. Oh yeah, me too. It, it was. It, it's just her, her the way she she's just such a mousy person, <laughs> you know, and she just is determined, and she gives her point. And actually, there's a lot of people that help her. Mm. There's a lot of great people that help there, her. Yeah. And one of the great parts of this thing is like, at the end, of course, everybody's taking credit for right. this Son fine. Bitches, yes. Even though she's, the whole movie, she's fought for it. She's fought for the money. She's fought for everything. And I thought it was so great. People all over the world were contributing money mm -hmm. to this yeah. cause. Right. right? But, uh, so... What was I gonna? What was I gonna say about that? About everybody taking the credit. Oh, everybody. Oh, that was horrible. But but, but realistic. So there was a mm -hmm. scene at and and they talk about. I'm I'm gonna be lying here. There's a scene, <laughs> but the the scene is like what I love was so great is, uh, she's gonna there's gonna be this speech right because mm. they found it and da da da, mm. and you see the people walking down the thing with the. Uh, with the coffin and you see that. Oh, oh, yes, yes, and, yes. Okay. And she yep. 
is actually been invited by these schoolgirls to, to talk. To yeah, talk. To talk. And she goes there proudly and talks to these girls. Instead of going right. to that. Yes. Right. She's because actually, she's, she's, actually because she's actually at the funeral when they do that. She's yeah. actually there. Yeah. It's the, the quote unquote dinner. The dinner. Party. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Dinner. But my, it's a schmutz. My point is she is going on, and I'm sorry, she went on total intuition. Yeah. Yeah. Like the little girls she, go too. she backed it up. The little yeah. girls go tell us. Tell us how you found it, the yeah. main remains. You know, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, it was the so, truest form yeah. of how she could have continued mm -hmm. on. Yeah, I'm going to take issue though with something you said. I don't think she was mousy. I think she was perceived as mousy because she had a condition. And then right. so she's she, tiny. <laughs> she, didn't, she didn't fit in to the, the category of what she was. <laughs> But she, she proved of, that she was not mousy. She a was a, a, a nervous disorder is yeah. basically yeah. it. And she was a nervous person. But she was like determined. And, and just the way she cut through everything. Well, um, maybe you're just not looking at this right. Or mm -hmm. maybe you should look at it right. different. You know, she was just kept going, like kept going. And there is one scene that I thought was really great. Because this guy just shows up, the Henry uh, uh, Richard Richard the Third. He's just sitting there in the park mm -hmm. bench, and she comes and she says, "By him." And then they just she's just there. And then one time she says something to her, and he <laughs> she asks him a her, question, and yeah. she's like, "You answered me." <laughs> and he goes, "Well, you, ne me you never asked me a question before." <laughs> it was like it was delightful. Yeah, yeah, that was nice. Yeah. And that guy who played Richard III was really wild. He was great. He was great. Yeah. I love this movie, just like everybody else. And that is a true story. Just, I love these kind of stories. It gives inspiration and, like, hope. Because somebody, what one person can do, and how she put everything together. And because of her, she was just really a nobody in the world. Exactly. And that's what made, makes it so amazing is that she found something she hung on to it determination intuition definitely intuition yeah was her big thing and i think she used richard as a what do you, a sounding board because he really didn't talk that much to her she would just talk mm. to him he never said a word well, he, he said a couple once. of words oh, he only said later to, on like yeah. he, was, yeah, he was like her psychiatrist he yeah was just that's yeah. exactly it's like it, it's what helped her get going whatever you need to mm. get going and she just put all these things together that nobody had done before. And when she got screwed over by the university, which probably happens a million times. All the time. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> I knew that was going to happen because everybody wants to be on the winning team, but nobody wants to do the work to be on the winning team. And that she got him, uh, what is it? Uh, bears, what is it? A cup of... Oh, she got an M. Is it called MBA? BE? No, MBE. No. It's when it, MBE. It's a, a coat of arms. Oh, yes, the Royal Coat of Arms. arms. Right. She got him yes. to be recognized mm -hmm. by the British Church, the royalty. Oh, she got yes. a coat of arms. Yeah, yes. but coat she, of arms to be in to be in the books. He was the, the king. king. Right. Now, funny and enough, got, and he got a king's burial. Yes, exactly. And yes. and but then I thought it was so apt that she went instead of that dinner they were having you know to celebrate the mm -hmm. winners right she went to the school to talk to the girls because really that was her path her path is not the you know the fame and the glory her path is the true path and to me that's so inspirational well, i just I love, love shit that like that the queen uh when she and at the end phoned her brought her in yeah, and, and, and finally recognized and gave her. her. Uh, I think it's called an MBA. M as a MBE. member of MVP, the, MVP, yeah. member of the British Empire. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's MBE, right? Yeah, whatever. And, okay. and, and and I was like, I just I I just thought it was like that's real girl power. Yeah, that's such a great point because you know, you just look at like the way movies are made now. If this was made, if this was made here, it would have been all about like you know how. The power of the woman, and all, you would have been completely distracted. By the way, don't not ever go see Richard the Third because it's a great play. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great play, and if you ever get a chance to see, I mean, I'm not a huge Ian McKellen fan, but I Ian McKellen him. played Richard the Third in a movie, and he is spectacular in it. It's it's a 
It's a great play. Don't uh, don't let history get in the way. I'm g- I'm going to be funny here. Richard Dreyfus also <laughs> played in a German movie. movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, that's so funny. <laughs> no, but, so, like, but, but it's like you said, that movie really showcases the strength of women in in that way. Yeah, yeah. In the right, well, that's that's what, exactly. This is right real. Way. I have to admit, yeah, the one part I did like is that woman when she has to go to the Leicester City Council to get mm-hmm. all the approvals and everything. There's a woman heading the council that and believes she comes, in her. Well, that's the thing. She she actually gives her advice. Says, "Don't bring up your feelings." Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And I thought, isn't that telling? Yet, yeah. when when they confront each other again, and she talks that, "Oh, you use your feelings." She hugs her, and I thought that tells you right there that she that, that sister kind of man, way that's that's exactly. women, that women help get her the thing exactly. And even though she was telling her for your benefit. Exactly. I believe in you. Also, that yeah. movie, like, say exactly. that, but that, that female power <laughs> movie, if it would have been done here, she would have had a shotgun. Who <laughs> 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 no, was bitches? No, she would have gotten on the forklift and started digging yeah. herself, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. She would have dug with her hands. <laughs> she, <laughs> she, she really <laughs> represented the a yeah, right. true <laughs> feminine power of yeah. how yes. you just get yeah. through. Yes. Through all the bogs and without mm. the glory and without no, whatever men it's men-made. just the inner mm. strength. You just do it because no. it's it not, needs it's to not be done. It's not done for the publicity. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's read. Okay. Oh, so <laughs> drinking my sake here. Yeah. Yeah. But we like this. Okay, so, uh, so to me, it's a, it's a ten. Oh my goodness! Uh-huh. Did we forget you? No, no, we're just started. started. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, uh, Bob does right. It, right? So, I give it a ten. Also, I give it a ten. Oh my goodness! Mm-hmm. I gave it a five. <laughs> How can you give this a five? I, I would have given it a ten. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say if you like Calendar Girls, you like Green Fingers, oh, all these compare. wonderful, you know, real life Calendar stories. Calendar Girls yeah. and Green Book. How could you compare Green those two movies? Green Fingers, not Green Book. Oh, what'd you say? Green Fingers. Green Fingers. Yeah, yeah the one about the gardeners in prison. I don't know that one. Anyway, we'll be back soon. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. 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 Yes.